Here in Scotland we're still in fairly strict coronavirus lockdown restrictions, so no new flying content today. However, I have just got a delivery from the carbon fibre CNC place in Shenzhen that I use for my custom designs. Uh, this is a new macro sized quad that I'm working on. Uh, I'm thinking 10 inch props and up. Looking at the base plate, you have no fewer than five positions for both 30.5 by 30.5 and 20 by 20 stacks. There's also uh, some smaller holes um, around the center for mounting a, a regular Pixhawk cube carrier board to. Um, you have, at the front and back, you have rows of quarter inch holes for tripod thread bolts. So you can um, undersling payloads at the front and the rear in front of the arms. Uh, and that's also why there are battery strap slots at the front and back as well. Uh, you have some 2.5mm holes front and back in sets of three for standard micro FPV cam brackets. Uh, you have 4mm holes for the, the arm hardware. Uh, the brace, a uh, very similar sort of thing. Um, these again are quarter inch holes for mounting um, payloads on, including one very centered. Holes along the edge here are actually access holes to let you uh, put your hex driver through to reach the holes um, on the top plate for standoffs. And uh, this brace is actually not symmetrical, it's um, wider than it is long, in order to let you access the, um, the mounting holes for the stacks in this position and this position should you be using them. The top plate, as I said, it looks like a camera cheese plate. You've got lots and lots of quarter inch holes on a regular hole spacing to uh, mount whatever you want so you can quickly screw a camera on at any position to balance the CG nicely. You've got plenty of battery straps. Slots, uh, they're nice thick slots for the battery straps to use those kind of Kevlar reinforced ones. Uh, again, you have 2.5mm holes in sets of three at front and rear for a uh, FPV camera. You've got a cutout at the front for FPV camera angle and a couple of extra 3mm holes for things like um, antenna tubes and that sort of thing. Now for motor mounting I decided to try something slightly more exotic than just using these metal adapters that used to come with fixed wing motors and then screwing them straight to the arms. That worked fine with hardwood arms but um, I figured I could do something a bit more advanced. So I've got um, these plates in 2mm um, with slots that take both 16 and 19 in both directions. Then I've got these thicker 3mm thick spacer plates which will go on the bottom, so the mounting hardware will sit flush underneath. I also designed a very simple sort of brace to go underneath. Um, I'm not sure whether I'll actually use those, but um, it barely cost anything to add them to the order. And of course, there's no reason why you can't do a coaxial setup just by having a second one underneath. Now, I did actually choose to have the, the mounting slots uh, in line rather than at 45 degrees because even though 45 degrees is the norm so that you can have the wire coming out perpendicular to the arm uh, you'll see that with this design that completely blocks access to the mounting holes. Oh and the final part I designed was just a very simple little mounting plate for one of the new these are the XT60 E1-M, which is the new version of the panel mount male XT60. Uh, all they've changed is they've added larger flanges to the side so it's got more bracing against the panel you mount it on. Um, right, I think I will get the saw out and cut some aluminium for the arms and then drill the mounting holes. Might need to 3D print myself some jigs to get the holes in the right place. Okay.
Okay, got my four arms. I think, in hindsight, 20 mil is actually overkill even for me because uh, this is getting pretty heavy. Um, but it should be pretty easy to replace them with something else uh, in the future. Just going to take the, uh, the sharp edges off of these before doing a test fit and seeing if everything lines up. Now for the actual build I will of course be using nylock nuts for this, uh, but just for this test assembly I'm going to use regular non-locking nuts. Again I'm not sure if these backing braces are actually useful, maybe on, on wooden arms they would be more useful just to prevent the the bolts from pulling through the wood, but I think that on aluminium they're a bit superfluous. They look nice though, and to be honest that's as important as anything in the builds that I do. Right, there we go, there is one motor mount on an arm. There we go, four motor mounts. They're fairly straight, straight enough. I mean, the angle of the motor doesn't actually matter at all because it just uh, spins, but yeah, it's fairly decent. So the way this works is two M4 bolts through there. The arm like that the brace on the right way round because it's not symmetrical. Like that. And then you would secure it in place with nylocks on the bottom. A bit like that. Right, let's do three more. From the top, from the bottom. You see how these areas at the front and back can be used for, for mounting stuff because there's nothing underneath there, so you can have things hanging down from the front and the back. That's the idea anyway. Right, so that is the XT60 E1M mounted in place. There you go, so you can have your XT60 mounted nice and firmly, rigidly on its own carbon mount at the bottom there. Or of course you can do it from the top plate, you could do it on the other side, you could do it upside down, do whatever you want. And of course you would use nylocks for that in the actual thing, but... And there you go, one macro quad frame. Only just fits in the frame. Uh, I didn't really imagine I'd be building things this big when I set up this camera, but uh, it's working well enough. Next stage is to actually order some motors for it. I have enough spare electronics in the way of uh, flight controllers, ESCs, cameras, VTXs, literally everything except motors. It'll be a couple of weeks before motors arrive from China, but um, hopefully by then the lockdown restrictions in Scotland might even let me take it out to play.